Sound Factory Productions are proudly endorsed by AMS Need. Hi everyone, welcome to Logic Quick Tips from Sound Factory Productions. If you get something out of the video, then please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to make sure you get a notification as soon as new content is uploaded to this channel. If you look at the top of the workspace, you'll see these two little boxes. And in Logic's default mode, in one of them you'll see an arrow, which is a pointer tool, and a cross, which is the marquee tool. In this current setup, the pointer tool is a left click tool and the marquee tool is a command click tool. This means that the pointer tool is the tool that's in use when you're using the normal left click on your mouse or glide pad. To use the other tool, you'll need to press command and the pointer will change to that tool for as long as command is pressed. With the pointer tool, I can highlight the audio and I can grab it and move it. If I hover this tool over the bottom left or right of the audio clip, we see this tool appear, which allows us to adjust the length of the clip. Logic is non-destructive, so I can always change it back. If I hover over the top right of the audio clip, we get this tool, which is the loop tool. With this tool, we can drag the corner of the clip and repeat, or loop the clip itself. If I use the marquee tool by pressing command, I can either create a start point for playback, or I can actually cut the audio. So, thanks for watching, I hope that was a useful tip for some of you. If you'd like me to cover anything specific in later videos, just leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do.